My name is Alice and I am studying the MSc Diagnostic Radiography. Before coming to Teesside, I'd actually um, done my undergraduate about 10 years ago um, and I'd been working in the same profession for a, about that amount of time after I graduated. So I was working in colleges and sixth form colleges um, and I just decided that I wanted a bit of a career change. I turned 30 <laughs> uh, and I thought, do I want to do this same job for the next 30 years? Um, and although I loved that job, I thought now is a really good opportunity for me to start again um, and to still have plenty of time to start building a new profession up from the ground up um, and find something new that I could enjoy equally or even maybe more. For me, I wanted to do something in the health sector. So I wanted to do something that was sort of supporting people to um, get better in whatever capacity that might be. So I definitely wanted to do something in health. And I did a lot of research into the different routes that I could go down. Um, for me, allied health professions was the pathway that was of most interest to me um, because there's a lot of little different specialisms and little niche areas that you can go into down that route. Um, so I looked at the different courses that were available uh, and what I could do with my sort of previous experience, what would apply really well. And I thought for diagnostic radiography, it's something where it uses science and anatomy and physics, but it also involves you creating a rapport with patients really, really quickly, which is something that I'd had experience with in my previous profession. So I thought that was quite a nice little fit in terms of the people skills. Um, and that is a similarity. And then I could build all the anatomy knowledge up through my degree. I was definitely anxious about coming back to university, worried about would I keep up, would I be literally the oldest person on campus, um, which I'm not thankfully um, and actually there's a lot more mature students on campus than I expected and particularly in the School of Health there's a lot more mature students even on the bachelor's courses than you would think. I was definitely nervous about coming back into education about whether I'd be able to keep up with the pace of things. Um, and obviously about money as well. You worry, you know, you're going from potentially a full-time wage, which I, that's what I was doing, I was working full-time, to relying on my student loan, relying on the NHS bursaries. But even that, that was that's worked out quite well and, and you adapt to learning and you adapt to like changes in your lifestyle pretty quickly. Um, so it's not as scary as you think it's gonna be, but everybody has those nerves. Even I was nervous about that. Oh, I love the course, it's brilliant. Um, one of the reasons why I really, really like the course here, it's a two year um, MSc course. So I'm qualifying really quickly um, for a really good profession, but also it's 50% practical. So I'm out on placement for literally half my degree, which I absolutely love. That's my, my favorite bit of the course. So I, I'm just having a great time doing it. And the, the people that I'm with as well, the other students on the course, they're all really friendly and we all get along really well too. Going on to placement, being a mature student, you know what the world of work is expecting from you. So you can jump into that and make yourself useful immediately. There's no nervousness about that, I think. Um, so in a way, going on to a health course as a mature student, you have a bit of an advantage in that aspect of the course um, because you have those like work-based skills. It's just about applying them in a slightly different environment. There's like people who are like parents who've obviously taken time out of work to have children who've come back through the course. And obviously for them, it, the university has given them flexibility in terms of where they're placed, um, having resources online available as well, uh, and just the lecturers generally being like nice, friendly people and being flexible when you have those needs and things going on in your life where you know you, you've got more responsibilities potentially. So the lecturers are really understanding if you do need to sort of say, oh, I can't come in today for this reason, but I will catch up using all the stuff that's on Blackboard. So yeah, they are really good in that respect. I think one of the benefits to coming to university later in life is that you you come with a real goal in mind. So you, you know what you want to achieve and you know what you need to do to achieve it. And there's no distractions. You don't have to worry about other things that you've already got sorted in your life. So in a way, it really helps you to remain really focused. And I think, I mean, I spend way more time in the library now than I did on my undergrad, let's put it that way. <laughs> I would say definitely do your research because it will reassure you more than anything else. Come to an open day and talk to another mature student. Maybe you could come along to some of like the events that they have online if you can't make it to something on campus. 
but definitely like get involved in all of the things that university has to offer before you come because knowing what you're coming into is very reassuring I think so that would be my sort of key bit of advice for anyone who's coming back into higher education after maybe a break.